So what if we wanted to calculate our conversion rates? We have our visits, transactions, and revenue here grouped by channel for organic search and direct. You can see the results down here. Um, and we, we put this together in the last video if you want to go back to that. Um, but what if we wanted to calculate uh, trans, uh, conversion rate and maybe um, average order value, um, common metrics that we'd need for e-commerce? Um, what we want to do there is perform some basic. So basically, within queries, you can perform any type of arithmetic. So if we want to say um, some transactions divided by some, let's see, let's make a new line here as conversion rate. You know, we could, you can do basically where this uh, division symbol is, you can do any type of math here. So you could do uh, multiplication, you could sum, you could do subtraction, um, you can do any type of arithmetic there. Um, so let's do, for sake of conversion rate, we're going to do transactions divided by visits. Um, so let's try this out. So here we are, we have our conversion rate, it's 2% and about 0.4% for organic search, 2% for direct. Um, one, th I want to point and let's do the same thing for um, average order value. So let's say some transaction revenue divided by some transactions. Cool. And now we have an AOV. Um, those aren't in dollars. I, I need to do the, the math. I think this might be in like millions of cents or something like that. But, but anyways, so we end up with, with our AOV calculation here. Um, I want to point out one way that we should be safe when doing division, because it is possible that you'll divide by zero. Um, so anytime I'm doing division within a, a function like this, I use what's called a case statement. So you have to say case when, um, and a case, I'll just type one out and then I'll show you the, uh, um, when visits greater than zero, then else zero and okay. So a case statement is basically like an if statement in Google Sheets. So you have a case case parameter and you say when, which is this is the um, you know the kind of if. So you're saying when sum of total visits is greater than zero, um, then run the math because we don't want division by zero, right? We don't want our denominator to be zero because then that'll cause the entire, you know, the entire query to error out. So we want to say when we have visits, then run this math. Then this is the kind of like end of the if statement. Then run this. Um, else, if that if the when is not true, then just say it's zero. Okay, we didn't we didn't have um, we didn't have any visits, so there's no conversion rate. So this is conversion rate zero. And then you end it with an end. So every case statement has case when then else end. Um, and you don't necessarily need an else, I don't know, but I don't think, but I always have an else in there. End. And then you can name the column like you would any column. Um, so don't forget that end at the end. Um, because what you can do with case statements is you can nest when thens. So you can say when x is less than 9, then blah. You know, you can keep saying when, then, when, then, you know, like you can really nest these conditions. Um, so if you use this case statement, um, anytime you want to do a division within a query, um, and you're going to use that query frequently, it's just a good practice to use a case statement so that you don't end up inadvertently giving yourself a, you know, division by zero error. Um, let's see, totals, visits. And anytime you make an error in a, in a query, the BigQuery console will give you pretty specific pointers on what could be wrong with your query. So always just follow the errors. Um, so great. So in this, in this section, we kind of learned how to do arithmetic um, within the context of, of grouping by metrics. Um, so like I said, any arithmetic will work here. We could do 
plus minus division or multiplication. Um, and in the case that you're doing division, you probably want to, if you're going to use this query a lot, wrap it in a case statement like we did case when, then, else, end, um, in order to have that query run safely. Hope that helps. Take care.